All right, this is part five of redoing the Geisler 16 foot French river boat. I'm gonna work on the top sides a little bit here and I'm using a rough grit 80 oscillating sander. And I'm mainly concentrating on doing between the nails and just going lightly over the nails, kind of working on the toe of the sander, not getting it too hard in there. You don't want to sand the heads off, the, off of the nails. They are thin and you'll sand them right off if you get going too hard. After I sanded it, I vacuumed it all down and I wiped it down with a uh, liquid. I used a alcohol, denatured alcohol. I think I started using with acetone because I didn't have any denatured alcohol in hand. So I just wiped it all down with uh, denatured alcohol and cleaned it all up and getting ready to varnish it. One thing I probably could have done, and I'd recommend uh, bleaching it with a two-part bleach. There's another site where they did a little review on a two-part wood bleach, and that would have gotten a lot of the bad spots off, but I'm just kind of tired of just putting out uh, money every time you turn around, so I'm going to, I'm trying to get done with what I have and uh, get it into the water pretty soon. This is about two weeks ago here, so I'm a little bit ahead, but I had some camera trouble. And uh, I, got, I bought a new camera and I had some trouble figuring the new one out. The old one, won't, the battery won't charge. I dropped it too many times. But uh, we should have that straightened out pretty quick. I think I have enough video for one more after this one. Then I'll start on the next one. I did use a, a Total Boat uh, varnish primer, sealer. And that darkened it up a little bit. But uh, I don't know if you need it or not. But I just figured I'd use it. It was kind of interesting total boat. When I bought the primer, they sent the mixing cups, the filters, and two foam brushes, which was kind of neat. I didn't expect that. So uh, I guess I probably bought it directly off of the total boat. I think I got it on Amazon, but I think I probably bought it through total boats site on Amazon and the first coat of this primer did look a little bit splotchy so I put a second coat on and it evened it out one thing the numbers the old numbers that were on there showed through and if I'd have bleached it that would have come out but uh, that just gives it a neat look with the old numbers coming through so I just put it on with the foam brush the foam brush wears out pretty quickly i don't think i made it all the way through the two coats with the two foam brushes i should have bought some more i did have some cheap bristle brushes that i finished it up with <laughs> Okay, after I finished doing the sealer, I used uh, spar varnish for the top sides. I was kind of surprised. It's hard to find spar varnish. You go to the big box stores, they don't have varnish at all. They have a polyurethane varnish, and I don't know what the difference would be, but I wanted spar varnish, so I had to order it online. I ordered this uh, Man of War varnish. I really just wanted to get a couple coats on here for protection. Flipping it over and doing the other side, I just don't want it to get all nicked up and banged up. So I just uh, did the two, the top sides, 
I did two or three coats. I can't uh, remember. I think I did two coats. And uh, I'll give it another coat. When I flip it back over and do the other side, I want to flip it over and do the bottom as soon as I'm finished with this top sides. It came out all right. does have a little bit of a patina and I just uh, brushed my varnish on after I finished the first coat I sanded it down smooth with a I don't know I think I had a 220 grit or a 440 grit something real fine then I wiped it down with a scotch pad to scratch any surfaces that didn't get sanded. And I put the second coat on. And here's how it turned out with two coats. I'll put one more coat on after this one. Coming up, you can see where the numbers, the old numbers bled through. I guess you really can't see it too much there. One side turned out, you can really see it a lot. And the other side, it was a little bit light. Here I am sanding with the 440. Then wiped it down again with the denatured alcohol or acetone. Acetone's fine, but it, it evaporates so fast. It's kind of an expensive way to do it. This is just to get the high spots out. And the uh, sealer does leave fuzzy things sticking up, so this will take all those down. And get ready for a second coat. Here it is with two coats. It's starting to look pretty good. I still have a little bit of work to do on the top side. There's a couple holes I have to plug up, but I'll just uh, do that when I get it turned back over. Here's kind of a general overview of where we are. There's the new transom. There's the in the uh, inside is mostly scraped down, mostly cleaned off with a paint and varnish remover. Still have a lot of work to do in sanding the seats and things like that. So that's kind of an overview of where it stands. Have the back seats to put in. A lot, a lot of work to do inside there. All right, got my helper here. It's time to turn it over and see if we can take a look at the bottom. I haven't even really looked at the bottom that well. I don't know what to expect. We're going to find out when, when we turn it over. It's not really that heavy, but I had to call in the reinforcements to get it to turn over. Here, come, here, they, here comes the reinforcements. 
I guess the best way to do it was to get it all at one side and just flip it over. It's not that heavy. I think it's about 350 pounds is what they say. It doesn't even really feel that heavy. But we got it turned over and got it into place. Just jiggle it around. Got it centered onto the horse, saw horses. And just got a initial look at what the bottom looks like. I, I didn't really look at it very well since I brought it home. And this gives me a chance to see what's going on. And I'm going to decide what I'm going to do on the bottom. The, the, the bow stem is pretty bad. There is some rot, but the rot is on the top. There was a metal piece that went around the stem there. And where the metal and the wood hit and where there was, it was in the water, it rotted quite a bit. So uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is look the situation over and decide. There's some gouges. The trim pieces are shot. The two runners, they're bad. I have to take them off and replace them. But I think that will make it easier to fiberglass with those two runners off. Nothing real bad. There's a couple chips out of the stern on the bottom that have to be repaired. And in the next video, we'll prep everything and get everything ready to do the bottom. The trim, there's two, still two pieces missing on the trim. I've got to replace them. So in the next video, we'll prep the bottom and get ready to finish it. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. Put your notifications on for the next video. Thank you.